This is called the lunge clock. And if you stick with a certain type of movement modality, for example, yoga, you might only be doing maybe two different types of lunges. But what we're gonna do here is lunge all around the clock. So you're gonna build some resilience for your knees, hips, and ankles. Start by setting up four bricks. So you've got 12, three, uh, six, and nine. And then something to slide your foot on. on. I've got a blanket underneath my left foot. And here we go. I'm gonna go to 12 o'clock. So I start to aim forward and come back up. From here, I'm gonna go to 11. And 10. And nine. Eight. Seven. These are going to get harder. <laughs> Five, four, and three. I'm going to have to switch feet now. <laughs> I'm going to pick up where I left off, heading towards two and one. Let's see what happens with 11. Uh, not so much. So let's go back out to the side. And you might notice that you feel much stronger or more stable on one leg versus the other, which means you can practice on the more challenging side a few extra times. And there you have it, the lunge clock.